You know what? I actually have a big, just soft spot for kids' games because some of the art and stuff that you can find in them, it's super weird. Like, if anybody else has played, uh, like, Kid Picks, which was sort of like the hyped up version of MS Paint, but with all kinds of stuff. There was like basic animation stuff in that. And some of just like the clip art and stuff that was available, the different things you could do, sound effects. Super weird. Really great though. I was trying to get it to work on my computer not that long ago, but like trying to figure out compatibility mode was a mess because it was like the Kid Picks 2 or something. I think they're still making them, but didn't haven't really gotten myself a copy. Anyway, this looks great, actually. All pixel work. Love the sun over in the corner. Let's see what we can do. Now, th I feel like this one has to be older than Mist. Oh, ele this company loves their elevators. I remember one of the main things I do in Kid Picks. There was like this background that was like these three-dimensional, like, s some sort of generated just orbs on, like, this sort of weird, colorful background. And you could go into the animation menu, and you could just click and drag, and it would, like, record where you would drag it. <laughs> and I remember specifically, there were two more types of orbs that were just, like, fancy little 3D spheres that you could push around. And then there was also, like, a skull that was, like, laughing. And I would always put it on that. And there was, like, basically, like, kabuki sort of like the stereotypical music that would go with that where it's like the uh i'm not even sure how to describe the instruments in it but it sounded sort of ominous especially if you're like five and you're like what is this so it was for some reason i just always returned to that scheme of like two orbs floating skull kabuki music it was a good time let's see what this guy's doing toaster Oh! Oh, it's an actual game! Oh my god. Oh, I gotta bounce it back to him before it gets too toasted. Oh no! <laughs> what have I done? Okay. Alright, one more time. Take it back. You gotta toast it. <gasps> Perfect. Wait, how did I only get one? Oh, two. Alright, I think I'm gonna... How do I get out of here? There we go. Oh. Let's see, that'd be... It's 8.56? Roughly. Nice. And... Lime. Bus. Oh, this is teaching, like, phonics. Got it. Learning different vowel sounds. Very exciting. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. Pan. Lime. Play. Bus. Rip. A. Hit. B. Terrarium temperature, 18 degrees Celsius, or Fahrenheit, wow. Well, everything seems to be okay. I hope we didn't kill whatever's there. I would think it would, like, freeze over or something. Oh. Oh! Whoa! Oops. Oh, we've got sandworms. They don't seem to mind that it's 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Whatever. Oh, they love it. I'm surprised it doesn't like make it cold or wintry or something.
Do we get different animals at different temperatures? Is that the deal? Only the sandworms will survive the cold? Oh. I'm out of food. There's nothing more I can do. Alright, let's go the other way. Oh, no. Toastman. You're our oh, mm. What is this? Lightning distance. Oh. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's neat. I like it. January, December, November, December. Okay, learning months. Uh, what? Oh. Oh. Mm hmm. Numbers. E ears. Fat bugs. Mm. Water. Murica. The Panopticon. Pointing. Space. Very interesting. What's going on in this one? Big oil. Whales. Submarine. If they're gonna have some spooky deep sea creature. Okay, they don't. A snowman and a little house. Oh, is this like a whole other area? I can't. I can't do it yet. Ooh. Lecture outlet. Oh, whoa. It, ooh. It, a microphone. An equation. Oh, that'd be kind of weird, I feel, for a kid. But still interesting. A little weird bug. Posters. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh. oh there's stuff out here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's Mist Island down in the right corner. Gotta throw it in there somewhere. There's the Earth. Einstein. Uh, some old dude. Looks like. Isaac Newton. J plus A. Very neat. I love it. Oh, hey, manhole. So if we find... Oh, there's more stuff. Osmo lives! I love this game. Alrighty, it's so good. Right, let's go down here. Wait, is there anything in the bottom shelf? Oh, oh. Okay, so the bottom shelf contains fear. Okay, gotcha. Bart and Annie. What? This is some form of game. Who is... Who's Bart? Can they fight? Will they fight? Oh, so they're like randomly generating. Well, I guess if you want to teach your five-year-old about taxis and kinesis, this is a way to do it. Get the food. Get the food. What if I block them off? Do they just never make it? Oh, I feel mean now. No, go back. Go back. Turn, turn around. Okay. I don't know what's going on there. Go, go in the hole. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Go in there. <gasps> you did it. I'm so proud of you. All right, we can leave. That seems to be all that's in here. I think we can see what's at the other end of this cave. Oh, that's the elevator. Okay. Oh, that's where we went. It's so easy to get turned around in these... These go Ooh. I think th even like this one, you're kind of getting turned around in that cave. It's still a little more easy to uh, navigate than the manhole was. So this must be after the manhole and mist. I'm really off 
at uh, guessing when these games were made. So this is a very simple version of the... Uh... Oh, dear. Jupiter. Io. Earth. This is a combination of, like, the thing behind the fireplace and the observatory puzzle. I don't know. Okay, let's see if this... No, uh... Okay, so these are the coordinates we want. One, three... Or no, three, one. There we go. Let's see here. Let's see what it did. Yay! I'm so proud of myself. Okay. I think that's... That's all we can do in here. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Ooh! Oh, there's so many secrets. <laughs> My diary. Enlightening. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of reading. These pages are intentionally left nearly blank. Probably gotta find like a magnifying glass or something somewhere. Be like, oh, there it is. Coffee. Oh, I'm so sorry. What have I done? This looks weirdly vectorized for this game. Look at how crisp it is. I take it things are supposed to be to scale. So oh, I've gone too far. Okay. Ooh. Oh, make your own neon. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's actually really neat. That's really cool. Why to go back to Argon? No, stop it. <gasps> oh, that's so neat. Carbon dioxide. All right. What a weird thing to put into your game. I love it. Very cool. Huh? Okay. So this is the gas canisters for that thing. Oh. Alright, put in some brown. Take it. Oh! Uh. Huh? What? Let me draw. I want to draw. Let me in. I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. Stop. Alright, let's take this one out and see what else there is. Oh, it's the same. That's the same. Yeah. Ink. Okay. I see what you're doing here. What's the purpose of the different different ROMs then? Okay, I think we can go. And it's this one. That's exciting. Alright, a Spelonks logo, gotcha. Oh. Okay, I accept this. I think we'll see what this guy had to do. Oh. 
Oh, that's so cute. Oh, this game is so clever. It's well, I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily call it a game. But there are definitely a lot of neat things going on in here. Eh? Oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh. I hope I can't crush him to death. Okay, good. Land. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's raining on the sun now. Alright, we've got... I'm not sure what that is. It, it dangles. Okay. <laughs> I was like throwing that expecting there to be physics. Okay. Go in the cave. No, go in the cave. Go in the cave! The sun's up there. And yet the light's coming from the horizon. The Oh. Uh, beautiful. Will it bounce back? Yes, it does. Oh, come on. Okay, we can we can we can head up out of the secret room. All right. That one. Oh, always with this room. Every time. Okay, that's the elevator. Well, this is a new one. Nope, it's trees. Leaf. Ah, oh, buttons are under the leaves. Oh, there's so much happening. Oh, where do I go? Here. Maturity meter. Oh, this is complex. The maturity meter is... Did we plant a tree? Oh. What? Oh, I feel like I just killed whatever I put in there in the first place. Okay. It's as fun as watching a tree grow. I wonder if we can come back, it'll be like... If it'll remember. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Let's see. Yeah, I think it does. Alright, we'll come back in a bit and see if our tree has sprouted. Let's see what's going on with the obelisk. I think... Oh, you gotta put in the ROM. Oh. Oh, that's spellings. Okay. This is very artistic. What's that do? Oh, the speed. Oh, okay. Just trees. It's going forever. Oh, you can add sound effects. You can add props, animals, letters, etc. A man staring off into the sunset. Inside of a television with a sign background, of course. A tiny little door. Pig toad tree. We've reached the pig toad command center. Yes! We are dropping the sickest beats. Duh! What? Who? When? Oh, you can make them dance! I'm more excited by the music. Oh!
We are discovering things today. Oh, it just switches those. Ooh. Oh, she does not look happy. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm hmm. I see. Did I? Did I achieve? Is there a different mouth? Oh. Smiley? Should you be smiling? Is this a puzzle? Does it just happen? Is there really... Is there a goal? Do I... Oh. Well, I think I've... I've explored everything this game has. Could be wrong. Obviously. But, like, I think for this sort of game, it's a pretty fair amount of little widgets to play around with. Very neat. Ooh. Very enjoyable. Oh. Yeesh. That's actually kind of spooky. Okay, was that a, was that a little cave? No. No. Well, with that... I think I'm gonna be calling it quits. Well, it was definitely a fun time, and this will be my first sort of playthrough of a game, and hopefully it was somewhat enjoyable, and so I will see you next time whenever I feel like playing a game again. Alright, goodbye!